Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be making an S7 300 PLC project in TIE portal and will simulate it using traditional S7 PLC simulator. If you don't have the latest simulator that you employ normally in the TIE portal, still you can simulate the S7 300 PLC project using the step 7 S7 PLC simulator. Let's get started. I'll create a new project in TIE portal. Create a new project and name it as S7 300 PLC. First, I will configure my device. I'll be adding an S7 300 PLC CPU 315 2DP in this case. Add. Here, to add a digital input and a digital output card to this rack, I will go to the catalog. Click on the digital input section. I look for a 32 channel DI card and I will add digital output 32 channel card as well. If you want to inquire about the addresses of the input and output channels, you can simply click on the card and go to the properties. And over here in the IO address section, will the start address is 0 and the end address is 3. So the, since it has 32 channels, the addresses starts from I0.0 .0 .0 and will end at 3.7. So that total is 32 channel card. And over here, the output addresses start from 4 and will end at 7. Q7.7. It starts from Q4.0 and will end at Q7.7. So that's the addresses of input and output channels. And now I will save the project and I'll straight away go to the program OB1. Over here, I will make a sample program and will simulate it. So let me write a simple letter logic program. I will assign the address I0.0. .0. And over here, I will assign the address I0.1, and that will be Q4.0. Over here, I will latch the Q4.0 as well. I will save the project. Now I will start the simulator. This is the S7 PLC simulator. I'll open it and I'll put the switch to the run and program mode so that we can program the PLC. We can download the program to the PLC without stopping the PLC. Open the TIE portal again and download to a simulator. Over here I will select the MPI section and in the PGPC interface I have selected PLC simulator and I will look for the devices that are available so that I can download my program to date. Well this the CPU has been identified and I will load the program to the simulator. Well the program is ready to be loaded and has been successfully loaded. Now I will go online to check the status of my downloaded program to the PLC and will monitor the program. To monitor the program, you can click on this symbol. Now, program is online. That is, I have been connected successfully to my simulator PLC and I can change the status of these inputs so and I can observe the online status as well. So to change I0.0 .0 to high, let me insert an input variable and I will click I0.0. .0. Well, that is high in the program as I can see and the Q4.0 has been set to high. You can also look for the output variable over here. If you write 4, well, then 4.0 is high. 
Now, even if I put it, reset it to zero, I zero point zero is zero now. It's low now, but uh, Q four point zero has been latched. So if I set I zero point one to high, well, Q four point zero will be reset. So this is a sample example in a seven three hundred PLC project that I. Uh, downloaded to a simulated plc and uh, this is how i simulated a 7300 plc using the s7 plc simulator so that's it for now and see you in the next video